something like that. Have you noticed that people are very, very keen on photos even more than ever? <laughs> I think photos are very important. Now I'm wondering, you said at your age, I was thinking of younger kids and I was thinking of Facebook and all the sharing that goes on on Facebook. It seems that people are not interested in words. They're more interested in sharing photos and the photos seem to have more ratings than anything else. So uh, yeah, technology has certainly changed that. It's making photography a lot easier, which is why I asked you if you uh, take photos and apparently it's 50 50 and I thought it would be a hundred because I don't know anybody who doesn't take photos 80% of humans are more visual yeah but photos photos you know people are so into them you know young people anyways they're taking photos everywhere wherever you go you see people out with their you know their cameras their androids and their it's not cameras anymore it's these little things and you see them everywhere you know with their little things taking photos i mean don't you find that interesting and it's getting it's becoming really crazy because people go everywhere with their you know cell phones or mobiles and if not they're using their you know their ipads people are walking around have you seen them that's an ipad it looks kind of huge uh, with their iPads taking photos everywhere. You see them standing, um, you know, wherever there anything happens. And, you know, they're almost like what used to be uh, reporters, <laughs> but now everybody's a reporter. Everybody seems to be uh, interested in taking photos. But in this class, 50-50. All right, so that says something about you know, coming to conclusions too quickly. It just seems that way. It may not be true. Oh, I'm sorry. You may want to refresh, refresh, um, refresh the page. I don't know. That's what everybody says. Um, seems to me like everything's, let me, let me refresh myself. Does everybody hear me well? Because um, I'm looking at the bar and okay now it's getting better you know sometimes be patient Valentina sometimes what WizIQ does it gets everybody's connections together and then it kind of um, makes sure that everybody is okay so be patient if it's slow it'll get better it's supposed to get better all right Neves so I hope it will all right so uh, let's continue we're going to be talking about images scoop it and pinterest boards because sharing words is not enough and guadalupe mentioned the fact that images okay are really really important and words just don't seem to be doing it these days with our young people and with older people as well i mean i've seen people over 90 with their iPads and, and uh, not iPhones because it's too small, but iPads taking photos. So why the need to share? Any suggestions? Why are people so keen on sharing? Somebody mentioned technology. I think it was Thomas. Hard of hearing? Is that why they're doing it? <laughs> or you're hard of hearing? Uh, connection feels good all right it's a way to connect definitely it's a way to connect okay people find it very very engaging to connect there's something to talk about when there are images photos okay everybody shares their photos and then there's something to talk about all right so is it slow then you know what maybe i'll refresh my page maybe it's just me all right so let me uh give me a second i'll refresh if uh, everybody is slow oh i'm not very loud all right i could yell but i'm not okay so let me um, refresh i thought i'd speak a little quieter yes exactly multiple in interpretations as well yeah it could be my mic um it's on the right side you want me to speak like this is this better i don't think so because it's going up and down you're going to hear the recording slow for everybody 
oh my gosh so it must be me conclusion all right so let me um that's interesting you might let me just refresh and be patient while i do that let's see what's going on here all right so let me refresh since it's obviously me i'm causing the system to be slow so um let me just uh refresh if i can i don't think i can okay there we go okay let's see what happens when i refresh okay it was unanimous Hello. so i'll refresh and let's see if that's any better okay it seems like my system is really fast it might be that my system is faster than everybody else's and that's causing problems that could very well be okay so um all right so is it better now give me a thumbs up if it's better yeah all right great okay all right so glad to hear that so i don't have to yell anymore all right very good all right it was on for about five hours so it could be that it got stale it probably did this can get stale all right okay thank you all right so um let's continue with images because that's what you're going to do okay i'm going to be talking about the course in general for those of you that are not sure what's going on and i'll remind you every once in a while to make sure that you're uh, with it all right so the course is called learn to blend and flip with technology right that's the name of the course and uh, the course has a certificate at the end it's completely free except you do the work okay so uh, you don't have to pay anything but you do have to work fip fip yes flip as in flip fip yes um it, it should be flip thank you helena that's right the l is missing so it's fip i think i like fip in any case um what you have to do is you have to first of all summarize the uh, live classes either the recordings or the live summarize and reflect and respond in a discussion form on WizIQ. So you open a discussion, you start a discussion, and you also respond to somebody else. Now that's it. And that's a weekly task. All right, now I've added this. If you look in the chat box, you'll find it. But in any case, let me take you there just to make sure that uh, we understand. All right, so I'm going to take you, Neves, did I say Neves? Neves, Neves, sorry if I make uh, an error on that. Okay, so now it's frozen because I'm screen sharing. So while I'm screen sharing, it freezes, but then it opens up again and unfreezes as soon as I start screen sharing. All right, because I'm on a Mac, I have to uh, give my life away and fill in forms before I get the screen sharing button to go all right so let me take you to oh it looks like i've been signed out that was clever all right so here it is this is the learn to blend syllabus and if you click on these you get to the table of contents to each one of these sections now notice um uh, what I want you to look at is this. The course started November 1st, and it's going to end June. Okay, the end of June 2014. These are the course objectives and what you're going to be doing. Okay, so read it carefully. I'll share the link again. The course requirements for a certificate, and the certificate will be signed by me. And if you need a letter of recommendation, I will write it for you for your organization, explaining how many hours and everything that you did. The participants are required to write a summary and reflect on the content of the weekly webinars in a blog post or in a Google Drive document or a face page, Facebook page. You can have a Facebook page or group 
and you can add all your work there. You can also use LinkedIn group or Google Plus community group or a wiki, wiki spaces, PB wiki, whatever you like. In other words, you can share your summary and reflect just about anywhere. All right. And then you will do this every week and you will share the link of wherever your work is with us in the course feed on WizIQ. Now, the summary has to be done every week. In addition, you're required to start a discussion, your own discussion on WizIQ in the course feed and respond to one another's discussions. So that's like two things that you have to say. And then you're also going to do in an action research project at the end of the course, action research, and we'll be talking about how to do that. So it's going to be something that you can use. Okay, so it's going to be very practical. Uh, you're required to complete the final project, the action research project by July 15. So that's like two weeks after the course ends. And there's more about the reflections and so on. Okay, so the link to this, let me get this again. Okay, the link to this is right here. I'm going to copy it and bring it to the class. Okay, so that's the, uh, okay, so that's everything that you wanted to know about the course. Blend, to learn to blend and fip <laughs> and flip with technology. Okay, so there it is. Are there any questions before we go on? Yes, it's very practical, Susan. Uh, you're going to be able to use it. And believe me, I, uh, the courses that people took with me and they got the certificates, they were able to get a raise, they were able to uh, uh, get a raise in rank from uh, professors or uh, other things at work. So it does work, you know, whatever you do online, by the way, it's not just my courses, whatever you do online does work to get you promoted. Okay, whether it's uh, salary wise or job position wise at your work. All right, so this is an image that I created using using what? Anybody know what I created to this uh, image with? It's easy, Helena. Very easy. Very very easy. It really is. You can't see the image. All right, it's an image of a boy with a graduate hat on. And he's typing on a keyboard. Anybody else not see it? Give me a thumbs up if you see it, thumbs down if you can't, so I get an idea. You might want to refresh your page, Guadalupe. Yes, the one in the center. All right, so there it is. You see it? Okay, great. So how did I create this? Any ideas? If you can just list them, I'll start you off. I use Jing. So Jing was one way to cut up the pieces. The image was taken from, from, you know where from? You can get it too. From a power point presentation. Yeah, Jing is great. I use a PowerPoint presentation and that's how I do my images. I just cut them all up, add words, and I use my PowerPoint slides to do it. That's simple. Anybody can do it, right? You don't need to do any complicated software. All right. Now, what do you do with the images? First of all, you want to share. You're going to share your work, whether it's your blog, whether it's your Facebook group, whatever you do, you want to share because if you don't share, you didn't do anything. All right. And you want it to look exciting. So where are you going to share it? Any ideas where you will share everything you do? Where are you going to share it? Any thoughts? I'll drink my coffee while you're drink while you're thinking. Mm. 
Well, that's right. You're going to share it in a social network. <laughs> social networks. All right. You're going to share it. That's right. Instagram is very good. Joka, excellent. LinkedIn, Facebook. Well, let's let's take a look. Okay, we're going to look at this more closely because you probably see this all the time. You're just maybe not aware of what you see. Right? Most of us are not aware until somebody tells us. So here they are. You're going to sh share it in a social network. So if you have a video on YouTube, you can share the video through email. That's the purple. Google Plus, Communities, very good Neves, Facebook, Twitter. All right, these are places, these are social networks where you can share your work. All right, and this is an example of a board. Now, where was this board? Where can you find this board? Where can you find this board? Well, this is your chance, Susan. Start a Google community. Okay, start a Google community for your work. Okay, and you'll get the certificate, so it won't be for nothing. It'll, and it'll give you a chance to um, share your work and um, start a community. Okay, what better way to do it? So it's not just about doing the work, it's also about doing meaningful connections. And that's what we want. Exactly, Neves. It's YouTube. YouTube decided to have boards because everybody else is doing it. So why not? And these boards are beautiful, don't you think? Okay, these are really, really nice boards. Let's take a look at some more boards. All right, okay? This is a kind of board <laughs> Okay, it's an image. And notice I created this image. It's an image of my iPad. Now, how in the world did I create an image of my iPad? Any ideas? That's right, Susan. Now YouTube has boards too. Because images are really popular. Photographs are popular. And everybody wants to have people you know, join them. You're going to be popular if you have images. Remember, images are really important in your ratings. Okay, and ratings are really important in life these days. All right, so how did I create this? Well, the same way that I, thank you, same way that I created everything else. All right, it's uh, Jing. Okay, and uh, I there is a special program that I connected my, and I'll, we'll talk about this, my iPad with my PC. Well, it's not a PC, it's a Mac, but you can actually join, connect your iPads, your mobiles with your PCs or um, standalone computers such as a Mac. And how do you do it? Well, we'll talk about that. All right, so let's continue and look at another kind of board. Okay, these are boards, okay? And what I did today, and I'm going to uh, show you a little bit of why I'm talking about iPads on WizIQ, because now you can actually teach using your iPad on WizIQ. How many of you have iPads. If you could just give me a thumbs up if you have an iPad, thumbs down if you don't have an iPad, and let's uh, let's see. Right, it's probably going to be 50-50, I presume. Right, 50, yeah, it looks like it's 50-50. <laughs> yep, isn't that interesting? You have a tablet. Okay, tablet's fine too. It works with tablets as well. Okay, I'm looking for my media. There's my media player. I'm going to be playing. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to be playing a very short. And let me know if you can hear it. 
of what I did today. I think you'll find it interesting. Hello everyone, uh, this is Nelly and I'm my favorite place teaching on WizIQ on my favorite gadget, my iPad. I can finally teach properly. So let me take you to content and add this teaching. Okay, I've added a few things already. Okay, make sure that it's there. Go back. Okay, and uh, there's the, uh, okay, here's some music. Okay, on my Can you hear that? Okay, so let's stop it and get rid of it. Okay, and we're going to there, there's the PowerPoint presentation teaching languages. There are lots of others, as you can see. I'm going to add there. Do you see that? These are my tools. Okay, I can get different colors. Sorry, my finger getting in there, <laughs> out of the way, but that's what it is. The iPad is about getting your fingers. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's get that done here. Okay, we can get a pencil here, and we can write different things, okay, in different, there. Okay, write on it, different colors, different, okay. We can do that. Lots of tools there on the left. So it's really a lot of fun, isn't it? So I, I suggest you get one of these and play around. You can add to the chat. Okay, there's uh, fun because that's what it's all about. It's about having fun. Okay, so uh, I'm looking forward to your comments on how you found teaching on the iPad. And uh, not just the iPad, but getting a tutorial and uh, screen sharing your work, which is even more challenging. So uh, thank you so much for allowing me to come into your houses and your places where you are so that I can share this video with you. So thank you so much, everyone. Bye for now. Okay, this is um, of a series of videos that uh, I created. There, there are a few other ones where I play around with that green thing. But the idea is this, what do you do with something like that? You know, um, do you just create it and that's it? No, you have to share it. And that's the idea behind boards. You need to share what you do. Whatever you do, have fun doing it and share it. And one way of sharing it is on Pinterest. How many of you have heard of Pinterest? Because that's what you're going to be doing this week. You're going to be playing around with Pinterest. Great. All right. So they're boards for curation or for sharing information, just a fancy word. And um, try teaching with your iPad or your tablet. And if you don't have an iPad or a tablet, try using your cell phone, okay? A small little phone, it's kind of small, but it works. It also works. So you can use your mobile and try teaching. Schedule a class and see what it looks like. And have some fun because that's the idea. This is an example of a Pinterest board. Now, isn't it beautiful? I mean, these boards are just amazing right? Absolutely amazing. Lots of images, but not only images, lots of cute ideas. And you can also add YouTube videos. Okay. Here's an example of a video. You can divide your Pinterest boards into categories. And by the way, you can do the work instead of doing it on a blog or in addition to a blog, you can share your weekly summaries and reflections on the boards so that right now, you can get an image, just go into your Jing. How many of you have Jing up on top on your computer system? Okay, just give me a thumbs up if you have Jing. All right, I see a smiley, great. So one, oh, and a thumbs up, good. So take your Jing right now, click on it, take capture, and let's capture 
let's capture. Okay, start capturing whatever you see. Once you capture it, all you have to do is go to capture, copy it, or you can save it. I like to copy it and open a PowerPoint presentation, which makes it so much easier. Okay, but you can save it as you wish. Okay, so you go into a PowerPoint presentation and just paste it on a slide, which makes it so easy. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate this. You'll be able to see this uh, in the recording on YouTube. Okay, so are you doing it? And you can do it along the way. You can do it. You can get captures of slides as we go. All right, so don't feel you can ask my permission if you feel bad or if you're but all these things are public and I don't mind. Okay, and you can add it to your blog or your Pinterest or whatever you're going to use for this course. Okay, there I've added it. Now I can also save it. Okay, I can save it as a picture once I put it on my slide and let's I'll call this uh P demo. Okay, P demo, and I'll share it with you in a minute. All right, so there we go. So I can um, get a whiteboard, for example, and you can add it anywhere, and you should. Okay, you should be adding all the captures that you take. Just keep adding it. All right, there's the one that I took. Maybe you want to share the one that you took. Okay, so um, WizIQ has a whiteboard and it photos and images look really, really great on the whiteboard. So um, anybody want to share? Halima, Halima, tell her to refresh or just write refresh, sorry, because she's not going to see it. Refresh, refresh. Let me see if my uh, sound is getting any. Yeah, I, I should read. No, seems to be fine. Okay, but I can get rid of my video if that'll help. Let me get rid of it. Okay, but you can also get rid of my if uh, your system is slow. Uh, Guadalupe, no, you just copy it and you paste it on a slide. So you can have a slide ready right now. Okay, have a slide ready on your system. Capture the image and just copy it and paste it on your slide. Okay, which makes it, okay, that's going to come. Let's continue. All right. So feel free to capture, capture, keep capturing, and then you can add it to your Pinterest boards. This is uh, my Pinterest board. I've got uh, my children here, my two daughters. I don't have my son. He's very private. <laughs> Um, and I've got, you can see, you could probably recognize some of these boards and I keep adding to them. I don't have as much time as I wish. Um, I also use Scoop It quite a bit and you can also uh, use Scoop It for your weekly reflections and summaries of the live sessions of what you've learned. Okay, Scoop It is a good way and notice again sharing social media that goes with the boards okay so not only are you sharing images and information because as Guadalupe says we like to get our information through images you're also getting social networking here okay there's Facebook Twitter again LinkedIn Facebook groups I think that's I don't know what that is yeah, that's LinkedIn. Again, I guess that's for the groups. There's WordPress and Tumblr and so on. There is even more as you go. Okay, right now I have 23.4 um, viewers, K. Okay, so that's 23,000. But people have a lot more. They have millions and millions and millions. Okay, because people love it. And there's a wonderful thank you board. Okay, there's a board called Thank You and Gratefulness, and look at what they have. 
thank you for the food before us, the friends beside us, and the love between us. Isn't that beautiful? That's someone who created a thank you board. Okay, on Pinterest. Here's another thank you. Isn't that cute? And this one, be grateful for today, every day. Or this one, count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. <laughs> Isn't that? And, and so on. These are really beautiful. We often take for granted the very things that most deserve our gratitude. And I am thankful. I am thankful for. And here you can write a list of things you're thankful for. Isn't that wonderful? So these are some of the things that you can find on Pinterest. I'd like to share. Well, let me go back to um, the whiteboard. Let's see if it's up, if the image is up yet. It should be up. Here it is. No, it's not up yet. It's taking a while. Okay, let me go back to um, another video that I'd like to share with you. Okay, it's a bit longer, so I'm going to stop it after a minute or two. Here it is. So why not use it? All right, so a curator is someone who shares information, and that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, this is a video that I created today using my iPad as I was teaching on WizIQ. I used a few other tools that uh, were kind of challenging, but I managed along with Camtasia and Screencast-O-Matic. They each have their purpose. So let's take a look at this. First of all, notice what the boards that I'll be talking about are. Okay, so there's Pinterest. That's one board, but there are other websites where you can share. In other words, social sites such as blogs, Google+, Twitter, Facebook. They're all here, as well as others. All right, tumbling. But let's take a look at one of my favorite boards and the difference between a board and social networks. All right, so let's go into Pinterest. Okay, so this is the... Uh, share okay i'm in the share area of the uh, youtube video okay so let's go into share to pinterest okay so here is pinterest all right and it's automatic so i don't have to do anything all right this is pinterest all i have to do is go into my boards and i've got quite a few of them but let's click on the pin it all right it's pinning I love colors. I don't know about you guys, but I just love colors. And uh, you can have Pinterest on your computer. All right, right here. So there's mine. Okay, I've got a few of them. I've got Scoop It too. So um, let's go to Scoop It and then we'll go to Pinterest. And there's also Paper. Yeah. All right, notice I've got Twitter here, iCloud, YouTube. Facebook. Okay, these are all on my system. All right, so let's go into Scoop It. All right, Scoop It. Usually I don't go this way, but it's a way of doing it. Okay, where you can get it right there on your system. So here is Scoop It, another board. Okay, curating board. All right, and I can add this by clicking on publish. I can also add my comments, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm simply going to click on publish because that's what we're doing. We're publishing. And as someone said, if you don't publish your work, you didn't do it. All right, so proof of what you're doing is publishing it. All right, so let's take a look at Pinterest. Okay, I'm going to go into Pinterest. All right, so let's write it down here because I love to look at it. It is so beautiful. I remember when it started, I just couldn't believe that someone had come up with this idea. All right, so Pinterest, like the word interest, Pinterest. All right, so uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, you add buttons. Okay, so um, I can see, pin it, you can add it to your uh, browser. All right, so I'm going to go into, notice here, 
into my account, which is right there, and I'm gonna go into the plus. Everybody should have a Pinterest account. All right, so you're gonna do this right after. Okay, don't forget to get a certificate for these. You need to watch the recordings or join the live classes, add your summary through a blog, but you can also use Pinterest. That's another way of sharing, okay? So it's active learning by sharing what you learn and creating an artifact. All right, so let's go into the plus here. And there are different ways of doing it and you'll get it, it's quite easy. All right, so get the pin. So here we are on Pinterest. And let's take a look at my boards. I can upload a pin, add from a website, create a board. And the pin it button, which is, they say, an easy way to do it. And there's the pin it button. It's something new. They keep coming up with new things. And I think that's amazing. So here's the upload, add from website, and create a board. All right, so let's take a look at my boards. All right, this is my account. Notice what's under my account, my boards, my pins, my likes, my friends. It's such a wonderful setting, such a wonderful social network. Pinterest is amazing. Look at my boards. I don't really spend that much time here. I should. There's so many things that you can spend time on. And these are lovely. Okay, this I started, the cooking one, because of my daughter who was writing a recipe book. And... Um, She's a sports scientist. She has a triathlon business, but she loves to cook. She also draws amazingly. Uh, my kids are really talented, so cooking is one thing. My husband loves to cook, too. He's also, I guess they take after him. And my daughter with her jewelry, and this is my pin. So lots of really exciting pins, and I can add more, more. There's so much more that, you know, and it's beautiful. What's nice about the pins, that they're absolutely beautiful. They just color up your life. All right, so um, let's take a look at some of the other pins, because this is not only about me. It's about lots and lots of people with beautiful pins and colors. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Look at that orange. And people do amazing things. You can add videos, too, to your pins. All right, and you can no notice what you can do with it. Okay, you can pin it, you can send it, you can add your love. It's so full of wonderful things. Okay, so here's coffee for, you can live on Pinterest. Okay, so that's about Pinterest. And there are others. So I'm looking forward to seeing you create a video of your Pinterest and then share it in your blog and share the link of your blog with us. All right, so uh, happy pinning. And we'll talk about more during the live online class. Thank you, everyone. Okay, that's what I did before the class. Look, it's still coming up. Um, and, uh, and I invite you, okay, now it's your turn. Uh, some of you may find that it's difficult, but what's difficult is thinking. Think, from my experience in, in the uh, short life that I've lived, uh, thinking, is very very time consuming but doing is not once you start doing it and I suggest you do it one step at a time okay so don't get overwhelmed just do it okay so what are you gonna do you're gonna watch this uh, recording I'm going to share it the YouTube video as well you'll watch the recording and then you'll write your summary of what you saw it doesn't have to be everything, okay? It's just what you saw. It's not what I want you to see or what someone else wants you to see. It's what you saw. And what you saw during the video, during this uh, live session, is you, okay? You don't do this for anybody else but for yourself, okay? So it's what you saw. It's your reflection. And then you're going to start a discussion about whatever connected to the live online topic and then you'll respond to somebody else and make sure that somebody else also 
adds their discussion and that's all that's simple all right and then you add whatever your reflection and so on you can add it to a blog you can add it to a wiki um, and you share it in the course feed so that's it any questions okay we've got a few uh, quite a bit we've got uh, about 10 minutes any questions thinking is time consuming <laughs> when we think about what we should do what we shouldn't do what we had to do what we could have done what we could have said what we might have said what you know it goes on and on and on that kind of thinking you know thinking that goes around in circles but doesn't really go anywhere and drives us crazy okay um, that kind of thinking thinking about thinking a screencast on the iPad very good Harriet okay Harriet I hope you notice there's a new math um, wireless on the Moodle there's also poodle there's something called poodle which is wonderful for those of you who are interested in Moodle we'll talk about these new features poodle is a video program but not only a video program audio and video where students and teachers can connect through uh, creating videos but it's much more than that it also has amazing quizzes anyways what I what I used was um, a program called reflect all right it's a an apps application it's called reflect reflect it's called reflect okay that's <laughs> that's what the program's called okay it's called reflect And let's see if I can get it up here. And no, it's called Reflector. Sorry, it's called Reflector. I wasn't sure. It's called Reflector. I just I've been looking for it for about a week, maybe longer. If for over a week, it's called Reflector Apps. And you can connect basically Reflector. You can connect your mobile with your PC or your Mac laptop or Mac iMac and what happens is your whatever is on your iPad or your iPhone or your Android or your tablet okay whatever is here on the screen is projected on your big screen it could be a TV screen too all right um, it costs I think $13 but I heard that you can get it for free and there are a few people on YouTube who um, have a few YouTube videos on how you can get around it and get it for free but I think that's not fair somebody worked hard on this and they provide great support so why would you want to you know steal from them but there are a few videos on YouTube that tell you how to get it for free. I don't know what you did, Harriet. I'm not. I don't know if it's the same thing. What you do? They use them in the classrooms in the United States quite a bit. What they do is you can also project it on a projector in the classroom. It's it's a system that allows you with um, see every every um, mobile has what's called at the bottom okay if you've got an iPad it says airplay I don't know if you're familiar with air play anybody familiar with airplay I can show it to you okay what happens is something like this can you see that can you I don't know if you can see the airplay at the bottom it says airplay what you do is you connect your airplay you can see that uh, you connect your airplay to your which is your mobile to your PC or your Mac whatever it happens to be okay so any other questions good night good morning good afternoon all right thank you everyone thank you for joining the session I'm looking forward to seeing your work, your reflections.
Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.